Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Factorio. So, we left off with a pretty big problem. Our pretty big problem is we don't have iron. <laughs> it's a really big problem to have. You can see that we just, we just not get enough iron. And as we investigate over here, we just don't have a lot of iron to draw from right we just have this little patch up here it's just not enough look we're even starting to run out this is just bad so since our last episode i was doing some thinking and i honestly don't think we're going to be able to rush to trains in time to fix this problem right we are trying to rush to trains which is great but i don't think we're going to be able to fix it so what i'm thinking of doing is I'm thinking of just running a belt from here to the base to fix the iron problem. And then when we do get trains going, I'll run a train this direction over here so we can grab this iron and this copper. I think that's what we're going to do to solve this problem. Because if we don't solve this problem quickly, we're just not even going to get to trains. It's just not going to happen. It'll be sad, right? So I want to solve this problem. So let's go ahead and get started with that. So to do that, we're going to need lots of belts, lots of inserters, right? So we're going to have to use whatever iron we have in order to get this rolling. So I'm just going to yank a bunch of the iron that we have stacked up here because we have a lot of science stacked up. So it's fine. I'm just going to steal iron here. I'm going to steal iron here. And then I'm going to steal the iron off the end of the bus here. There we go. And I can make some belts. Let's see here. I'm also going to steal the gears off of here. That way I can make even more belts. And let's just start making belts. And in the meantime, let's keep going with our research. So railways is done. Now we want automated rail transportation. So let's do that. Another reason why I don't think we're going to make it to trains is because in order to build trains, we're going to need steel. And guess what steel needs? Steel needs iron. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just all sorts of screwed unless I solve the problem, right? So let's grab whatever we can, whatever belts we can, whatever inserters we can, and let's start working on solving the problem. So I've got 35 mining drills. That's enough to at least get rolling. So let's get rolling. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna run up there. We're probably not gonna have enough belts yet, but hopefully some of the iron will replenish as we're working over here. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna run up here and we're just gonna start getting everything all set up. I'm also going to do a little bit of exploring to see whether or not we need to kill any biters nearby. I'm just going to run a little bit further up north up here, see if there's any biters that need to be killed because I don't want to build defenses around our little iron outpost up here. Sure enough, we got some buddies up here. We have quite a few buddies up here, so let me go ahead and drop some defender bots and we're just going to charge right on in there. Let's see, that should be pretty good. And then let's go! Defender bots are lovely. I love defender bots. Look at that. Okay, that's taken care of. I don't want to overuse the defender bots because I'm not going to be able to make more. But that should keep us relatively safe. We got another base down here. I'm curious to know what's under this lake too. There might be biters down there too. But anyway, let's go ahead and get things set up and then we'll just have to monitor the pollution cloud maybe. Hmm. That doesn't seem like too big of a base. I think I'm actually going to go deal with it. 
I'm going to go deal with it. I'm going to go deal with it. Do, 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 do. We're making our way to the base. To the biter base. There it is. Hello, biter base. Oh, they got two worms. That's not cool. I don't like worms. That hurts. Luckily, we got fish. Alright, so that's one worm down. There's a lot of worms, actually. Holy cow. I will get to that in just a little bit. Try and work on the base first. Basically, the objective is updated since our research is finished, right? So he says, now it's time to repair the railway and get all that fun jazz set up. Stop spitting at me, bud. I know you want to kill me, but that's not cool. There we go. And there is another base down there that we saw. Let's deal with that, too. Alright, hopefully that's going to be okay. Alright, lovely. So we're almost ready to start working on our objective, but again, we just need to solve that iron problem. I'm just trying to preemptively solve a biter problem too before we run into that kind of problem. Because biter problems are always fun as well. We're also going to need to expand our copper soon too, because we have that just that little sliver of copper, right? We have copper up here too, which I can also belt down. But I'm thinking of running a train to get this copper and this iron. So we can do that once I get this iron issue resolved. If need be, instead of running around killing all the biters, I can always set up a, a set of just laser turret defense. That'll get the job done, especially because we have plenty of electricity to go around. Yeah, let's go ahead and get this iron rolling. And then we need some fun belt times. I want to get a little bit more space, something like that. And then what we can do is we can do something like we can do something like that. And then just have one line come out. Oh, hold on. One more. And then just have one line come out. It's not gonna perfectly balance it, but it should be okay. We can always check and see. Another thing we could do, which is a little bit sloppier, but maybe will be a little bit better, is I can run I can do one splitter here, right? And then balance it. Like 
that, and then I can run this down, and then add another splitter here, and then balance it again. That could work too. It's a bit sloppier, but it'll work. Okay, let's go ahead and get our holes all set up. Once we get that connected to our electric grid, that'll all kick in. So let's go ahead and bring the belt back. I'm gonna run along the belt just so we can run a little bit faster. Let's see. Bring the map. I can run it down this way, I think. So that way I don't have to cut down too many trees. Like I said, not ideal. I would have preferred to run a train out there, but it'll get the job done. Oops. Hello, solar farm. How you doing? Like I thought, we didn't quite have enough belt to make it, but we're close. So let's take some more iron, any we can find. Looks like we're stacking up again over here, which is great. Also looks like some iron is making it to our little structure over here. So let's take whatever belts have been made, which is not that many, but still, let's take some. Holy cow, we are just all sorts of out of iron, and we're not eating the stone, so what little iron is sitting here too is also a problem. So I think what I'm going to also do is I'm going to just start using the stone to make uh, stone furnaces. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that, make this nice and easy. You're just going to do stone furnaces then you're going to output into a box. And then that way the, the stone can keep running and hopefully that means the iron can keep running too. Okay. Let's make some more belts. I've got red belts, but I'd rather not use them at the moment if I can avoid it. I think I can make it can just about make it. So let's go over one. That way I can do... Actually, let's go over two. Just to be safe. That way I can just kind of merge it onto our bus structure here. There we go. And we're going to leverage this, right? Because it's not being fully utilized. If we notice that this is being overutilized, if we're getting iron back up, we can always build another structure to smelt more iron. So I'm not too worried about that. So now that we've got that set up, let's go ahead and get power over there. Power would be lovely. Let's get power... And then that should solve our iron problem, and then we should be able to get to trains easy peasy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy.
and there we go. Now there's power. So if we open up the map, you can see the pollution is going to start to spread. Um, I probably am going to have to build some defenses around it. Otherwise, I'm going to have to fight off biters, but I don't have a lot of ammo. But, as you can see here, we're starting to get some iron. Yay, iron! Iron is awesome. And you can see we're getting a pretty good full belt of it, too, which is great. So let's go back and let's get some of our laser turrets. And we'll start building a defense around that, so that way our laser turrets can hold the line against the biters while we finish the stage. Because, again, I don't have a lot of ammo, so I'd rather not fight the biters if I can avoid it. But that should solve our iron problem. That's exciting. That's exciting. Solving the iron problem is lovely. All right. So now that I think we've solved the iron problem, let's go ahead and keep researching stuff then. We can just kind of wrap up the rest of the research. So let's go ahead and do rail signals, just so that way we have all of our train stuff all taken care of. And I'm going to be brutally honest with you guys as we kind of get everything ready here. I am not great at trains. I still heavily rely on blueprints provided by much better Factorio players. I don't have the greatest grasp of trains, right? So I need to learn more about trains. Um, but as far as this tutorial level goes, we can do a very simple train structure to at least get things started, to at least get things moving. And then from there, when we actually do a full free play run, by then, I should know better. By then, I should know better how to do trains. Okay, so I've got the laser turrets. I've got some walls. Let's go ahead and get our defenses over here set up because you can see the pollution cloud is spreading. I do expect that it will eventually hit these guys here and maybe even these guys here. And then there may still be dudes up here too. So we're gonna have to just build some defense. Build the defense. So let's go build the defense. Our factory looks lovely. Now that our iron problem is solved, it's gonna look so good having nice full belts of everything on a bus that we can just draw from. It's gonna be nice and convenient. Nice and convenient. We're almost done solving the problem. We just have to defend our, we just have to defend it now. And if needed, we can even build more bullets. Now that we are getting good amounts of iron now, we can even build more bullets. It looks like our solution here actually isn't great. Let me try a different solution here. Because, yeah, things are getting bogged down just a little bit. But this is a full lane. It is fully compacted, so I guess we're doing okay. Yeah, we're doing all right. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to fix it. It's not really that much of an issue. This middle lane is being backed up just a little bit. These other lanes are being pushed all the way through. Great. Awesome. But as these start to die off, the middle lane will continue to support, so it should be okay. I'm not too worried. All right. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build like a little outpost. Right? So I'm going to put like something here. And then I'm going to fill it with laser turrets. So I'm going to go turret, 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 turret. How do I want to do it, actually? Let's see. Maybe I'll just do it around here. I don't need a billion turrets, just some. There we go, something like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to throw walls at it. So I'm going to put walls there on the hotbar. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go one square away. And the reason for that is because some biters can reach over walls and attack the actual turret, and I don't want that. So I'm going to go just a little bit of space ahead. Let's go like two spaces ahead. So one, two. And then we'll encircle our defensive structure here. One, two. One, two. 
and there we go. So now we're, we've got that walled in. And then I'm going to put a gate here just so that way I can walk through it. I'm going to go and rotate that so it actually looks like a gate. And then what I like to do is I like to double layer it because things will take damage over time. And I do not, I would like, I would prefer not to have to come back and repair it all the time. And then again, just another gate here. And there we go. All right, our rail signals research is finished. So let's just keep researching stuff and things in general. Let's do lab research speed next. So there's our first defensive structure. Let's do another one about, hmm, do we want to do one here-ish? I'm actually not sure. Maybe here-ish would be good. I also want to explore up here and see if there's any biters up there. I would rather not have to build a defensive structure up there if I can avoid it. But yeah, let's go ahead and build a structure here and take advantage of cliffs because they can't they can't get around cliffs. Whoops. I hit that tree. <laughs> yeah, they can't get around cliffs. So I'm just going to wall that off to the lake because they can't get around lakes either. And there we go. They could get around it this way, but biters like to go for a direct attack. But if we wanted to make ourselves feel extra safe, we could always put walls down here too. Something along these lines like this. And then we can always throw some laser turrets behind that too, if we feel like we need to. And in this case, instead of putting them in a square like that, let me actually go ahead and throw them behind the wall. That way we get just a little bit more coverage. There we go. I'm not expecting the biter waves to get really nasty. I'm hoping that that should do it for a while, for a while if not for the rest of the stage. But let's see if we have an issue up here to deal with. And if we do, we will deal with it. But fingers crossed we don't have an issue up here to, to battle. It doesn't look like it, which is very fortunate. Looks like we are lucky up here to the north. We don't have any mean and nasty friends. Yeah, we should be good. At least for the time being. Unless something funky happens. But so far, looks like we're okay. Sweet! Alright, let's go back to base and take a look at our new fancy schmancy iron and make sure everything is getting to the end of the bus nicely. We should be in good shape now. We should be in good shape. And then what we can do is... Oh, I forgot to put radars. Let me put radars over there, actually. Um, do I have radars? I do not have any radars. Let us go back to base and build some radars. The reason why I want radars is so that way we can monitor how things are going here, right? Right now it's just blobs. If I put radars down, I can actually monitor how things are going. Having full radar coverage is really nice. So let's go get some radars. And it looks like, yep, things are backing up a little bit. This isn't being fully used. So let's take a look at it and make sure that everything here is being fully used. Okay. It looks like this isn't quite outputting a full iron belt. So what I can do is I could add additional structure here, but I don't have more electric furnaces. What I'm going to do instead is I'm going to use the modules and show you how those work. I'm going to throw some speed modules in there. And basically what that's going to do is that's going to make them work faster, but 
consume more electricity. But that should help us utilize everything that we're throwing at it without needing to build additional structure. Because it looks like it's almost utilizing everything. So we're going to grab our speed modules and we're just going to plop some in there. And that's all the speed modules we have, but hopefully that's enough in order to better utilize everything. But yeah, nonetheless, even if we do need to build more iron smelting structure, this is great. Things are actually making it to the end of the bus now. Our mall can actually start working. This is amazing. Look, 300 belts. Look, we're getting blue inserters. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We could even do underground belts. Oh, this is going to be amazing. What do underground belts need? Just iron plates, more iron plates, and transport belts. So we can do something like this even. Something like that even. And then restrict that down so that way it doesn't overproduce. But yeah, look at that. This is great. This is great. Now we're getting underground belts too. Now look at all these extra things we can do. Okay. So yeah, I think this is a pretty good stopping point for now. We've pretty well got our iron issue sorted out. We do always need more iron, right? So we will definitely need to go get more iron. We're going to need some iron. We can still tap some more iron here. And there's plenty of iron there. There's plenty of iron down there and there's iron up here. So it's not like we're out of iron, but we do need to get some more. So what we're gonna wanna start doing soon is actually working our way towards trains. Now that we've solved our iron problem, we can actually start working our way to trains. It's gonna be awesome. So yeah, good stuff. But have been going for a little while. So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. Again, hopefully you found this informative, good, pleasure to watch, that kind of thing. I'm excited. We solved our biggest issue that was left over from last time. So now we'll be able to make more progress up the tech tree towards the awesome trains. So yeah, catch y'all next time. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good one.